Rocket build for Sunny. Very interesting one. You can use this on any character to a certain degree. But we have some fun here. We definitely have some fun here with this build. It's aggressive, it's mean, it's got good stats. It can help you survive, leaving hiding spots by 50%, taking less damage. And this could work with other perks if I can do it in conjunction, but so we don't have those other perks unlockable yet. But I think this is the best build for it right now to be super aggressive at the same time. Let's go here. Get this. Make noise. Wake up, Grandpa. That's the plan. Now it gets crazy. We should need to drag him to the same place. He left me. No, come back. Isn't there a freeze in there? Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. No, he saw it, I didn't get it. Oh shit. He yanked me out. Wait, this is a weird uh, cooldown animation, isn't it? No, he got me again. That animation is worse than the locker. I can't make this work as much compared to lockers. Yeah, lock is way better. Lock is way better, aren't they? Someone's already dead, Jesus. Yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. T back to make you follow? I hate Sissy. I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Wow. Wow. That's crazy tech. I went the wrong way because of the running speed. <laughs> I'm back in. Got the stun? Back in, back in. Safe. Start again. I'm out. That poison lasted forever. I'm safe? Oh my god. That's insane. Against her as well. Now she's out of poison, so she has to go to the station. I don't hear her. So I think I'm safe. Yeah, I'm safe. I need to stay strong. Try to find the others. Get all back to full HP. Yeah, not bad place to be honest with the locker. Survive them because of our stats. I'll see it. I don't like this much quiet. Wait, what? Yeah, I got you. Out playing for days. She died right there, unfortunate. I should grab that. If you stay locked forever, you actually get pushed out. You start to freeze and it kicks you out again. Wait, you didn't see me? That's really weird.
Is there a locker here? I can't remember what locker here. I'm trying to think of one. It's over there. There's none here. That's the worst part about slaughterhouse here. Yeah. No lockers. Better get moving. What exit? We gotta run, we gotta run. It is open, how it seems it. Really nice. Let's open this. Then we get out of this, don't we? Is there no other lockies? I'm shocked on these spawns. I know there's one in that corner there. Just keep your head clear. Your eyes open. You can do this. Okay, that's interesting. Go backstab. We leave it. Go for it again. The gate is open. Get the fuck out of there, man. <laughs> Damn these freaks. Inside you? Oh no, you're fucking dead. Oh. If you if you go out, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you gotta run out of that bitch. <laughs> oh, that the battery. I got an achievement. Why did I get an achievement? No, I'm dead. I'm out! <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that is crazy. I got an achievement that made me lag. That's crazy. What a save. What an absolute save. I think this build has got some promise behind it. Oh no, you're dead! <laughs> oh, that's crazy. oh my god. <laughs> She's out of there though. Jeez, what a game. I think this build has some promise behind it. The Jack and Box efficiency backstab have been working out. There's ways to chain it even more. And I'll showcase it in another video as well. But this was a really fun display of what it is. And I'll showcase what the build actually comes down to and how to get to it. So the stats are here on the screen. So we got those uh, and perks there being efficiency backstabber, Jack in the Box, and been working out. Then we have strength being increased and also toughness to help with just survivability and also stun duration. That's why we have these stats here too to help out with that. Then our skill tree looks like this. That's pretty much it. Good luck with your rerolls and hopefully get those perks as well. But I want to do this build one more time because I feel like this is super fun and there's so many opportunities for this to work.